You are listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZW LP Conroe and 106.1 KZCC LP Conroe and worldwide on IRLoneStar.com. Good afternoon. Here we are, Monday, November 19th, 2018, downtown Conroe, Lone Star Community Radio, FM 104.5, 106.1. I'm your host, Margie Taylor, for Conroe Culture News, and uh, we hope to give you a little information about what's going on around downtown Conroe, uh, the greater Conroe area, and uh, just a lot of good things that are happening throughout our county. So guests today will be Mayor Toby Powell from uh, the city of Conroe, Geraldo Villarreal, from Invincible Fitness. Rita Wiltz will uh, end it with Children's Books on Wheels. And we'll hear a little bit from Carly Kremen, who just opened up a new shop right next door to the radio station today. So she's going to tell us a little bit about that. This show is sponsored by Roger Stein Chiropractic Center, and they're located at 3033 West Davis by Conroe High School. And uh, they can help you with all your chiropractic needs. If you have a back, then you should go see her. So she will help you feel good. I truly enjoy sharing the good news about Conroe, and particularly downtown Conroe. Friendly people, local businesses, thriving restaurants, talented performing and cultural artists, and exquisite service. So many free events and live music every single day of the week. So please shop Small Business Saturday with our local venues first before heading to other retailers or going to the mall for holiday shopping. Small Business Saturday is this coming Saturday, and as you know, this being Thanksgiving this week, Black Friday is... Uh, this coming Friday. So help out our local venues, our, our local merchants. The season of gift giving can make or break a local business and the taxes go to improve our community. And if you don't want to prepare a meal on Thanksgiving, the Red Brick Tavern will be open regular hours and serving a special gourmet menu from 11 to 4. You need to RSVP online at the redbricktavern.com. Volunteer, volunteers are still needed to assist at the Salvation Army as they prepare and serve the homeless community from 7 to 3 on Thanksgiving Day at their center. A meeting for interested volunteers is scheduled for today at 6 p.m. if you're interested. You don't have to attend, but it'd be great for any volunteers to go to that meeting first. Most of the other merchants will be closed Thanksgiving Day, but they will be ready for business on Friday morning. Since Friday is traditionally a leftovers day, bring the friends and family out to the Corner Pub to hear Ryan Rubnick and Swamp Chicken, live folk, Americana music at the Red Brick Tavern, or Jeremy Lamont from Willis singing at Pacific Yard House. And bring your kids to see Santa every Saturday and Sunday from noon until 4 at Mamie's on Main until Christmas. And that's directly across the street from the east side of the courthouse. Kids are happy and you can browse around while you're shopping and while they're visiting with Santa Claus. Purchase your tickets early before they sell out for the Christmas performances at both theaters. Friday, November 30th, will be the start of the three-week debut from Stage Right Glitz, the Little Miss Christmas pageant at the Crichton Theater. Susical, the musical, will be at the Owen Theater by the Players Theater Company, and that starts Friday, December 7th through Sunday, December 23rd. Both of these theaters are strictly run by volunteers, and they have sellout performances at Christmas time. So seriously, don't forget to go get your tickets now, either at owentheater.com or crichtontheater.org. The last day to submit artwork for the Conroe Art League is for their fourth National Invitational Art Show in March, is November 30th. Artists are invited to enter original 2D and 3D artwork in the juried show. Cash prizes will be awarded. If you want more information, go to conroeartleague.com. So with that, we're going to roll into speaking with the mayor today. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Great, Margie. Thank you so much for having me today. Well, Conroe always has wonderful events going on, and the Christmas season is no exception to that. So tell me a little bit about what's going on next week on Tuesday. Well, we're going to have our uh, Christmas tree lighting ceremony at the Heritage Park, and then we're going to have uh, Christmas on Main Street. Uh, which is, uh, we just started that last year, and it was such a great success. We expect it to be really even more of a success this year. And that was your idea last year, wasn't it? Well, really, <laughs> it was the, the First Lady of Conroe, Vanessa, oh, my wife. Vanessa, uh, yes. Yeah, she was the one who uh, talked, uh, thought about that. I, I had the Christmas uh, tree lighting ceremony. Uh, uh, this is our ninth year for the Christmas tree lighting ceremony. 
And uh, each year it's gotten bigger and better, and, and we've got greater sponsors, and, and we appreciate them. We appreciate uh, our staff, our employees who light the, the rooftops and, and the, the poles and, and uh, the, all the other festivities that uh, we have around Christmas time that, that you get to enjoy, and it's a, it's a gift from us to you, the citizens, uh, for uh, another great year in Conroe. We're, we're prospering, and we, we appreciate you. It's so beautiful here downtown at nighttime, especially around Heritage Park. You can see it all lit up. And I know the local merchants are getting ready to decorate their windows, too, because that will be part of the uh, People's Choice Awards. And they'll take wooden tokens, the public will, after the tree lighting and put that in the windows of their choice. So the tree lighting has been going on for not this will be the ninth year. And that's at Heritage Park at 630. Mm -hmm. And that, that's a fabulous free event, another free event that the city puts on. And when that tree is lit up, it's very magical. Right. It really is. Uh, and and uh, uh, this year we're, we're going to have a, a guest that's going to, uh, he and his wife are going to light the tree for us that have been a great asset to our community for many, many years. And so we're looking forward to having a, a great crowd down there and, and, uh, uh, then that crowd uh, just filters into the downtown area, uh, uh, the Main Street area. And it, it's it's just a wonderful, wonderful festivity. And, and it's a, a, it is a gift from the citizen, uh, from us to the citizens. Uh, come out and have an enjoyable time. Get your tokens. Win some prizes. and, and uh, Some bike giveaways, correct? Right. We're going to have some bike giveaways. Uh, I think we're going to have, we had them last year. We're going to have them again this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know what the other gifts have been uh, doing. You and uh, your uh, committee have been doing a great job putting the downtown uh, Main Street uh, program together. We're trying to make it even bigger and better because like you envisioned last year, when the people already congregate for the tree lighting, might as well get them to do something else because so they're, they're already there. So they're, uh, we're working on the hay rides, carriage rides, there will be Mr. and Mrs. Snowman. Of course, there will be Santa over at Mimi's. And you will instantly hear the music that will happen at Founders Plaza. And that will be the jazz connection. The young kids, junior and senior high school kids, along with the Montgomery County Choral Society, will be doing Christmas favorites. There's going to be a, a few food trucks, including Carmelita's Tamales, right across the street over here. And uh, a few other surprises. Of course, uh, you can go around to, you will get information. What we learned last year is that people didn't all know what was going on. So we're going to have information booths at three separate places, including Heritage Park. So while they're gathering there, they can get a map of the activities that are going to be happening in downtown with inflatables, writing letters to Santa, hot chocolate, wassail, reindeer food, all of those things will be all be on the map, and the venues that are decorating their windows will be on the map, too. And they can get their tickets to put in for a drawing that will happen at Founders Plaza at 815 or so, right? right. Something, uh, like, something that. like that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if there's no cost to any of this. Now, if you buy extra food, well, yeah, then there's a cost to that. But other than that, uh, the venues will be open giving away Christmas refreshments, cookies, maybe some fudge, different things like that. And like you said, this is a, a gift to the people in Conroe, from the city of Conroe. Right. And, you know, let me tell you, if, if uh, you haven't heard this children's orchestra play, you need to come and hear that and bring your They're children. They're fabulous. They are wonderful. I mean, it is a, a fantastic time of the year, and, and they – you can just see the joy and hear the joy that they play and, and uh, do. It's just a miracle that uh, the, this uh, this young choir, a young orchestra can do what they do. High school kids, they, right. They really are. They're, they're really neat, and it's, it's something to, to see. So it's to me, it's almost like a Hallmark Christmas in downtown Conroe without the snow. And I did try to get snow, too, but that isn't going to probably happen. Yeah. But we have all the other things. We, we have some people that are going to be uh, dressed up. We might even have the Grinch out here. There might even be Buddy the Elf. I'm working on that, too. Okay. So all kinds of different characters. There's going to be a nativity scene. People will be walking around and offering information so you know what's going on and you don't feel lost. And everybody's included in this wonderful event in downtown Conroe. Well, you know, Margie, it, it's uh, that you said the magic word, the Hallmark Christmas. You know, uh, that's basically, I think, the vision that we all had 
right. back in 2009 when we started uh, the Conroe Christmas Celebration. And it was uh, it just uh, was a vision, and uh, it just took hope. And, and the, uh, the staff and the employees, and, and they they're more enthused about doing this every year than I am. And and I was the one who had had the first vision of doing what was what has become Conroe Christmas Celebration. And I'm just honored and, and that uh, our Parks and Recreation Department and and our staff has just taken it by the by the hands and, and made it what it is. Embraced today. it. Yes, we really have. Do you realize that there's 8,000 people interested in coming to this event? Well, you that's know, a that's, lot of people. It, it's a lot of people. <laughs> and, and the first one that we had probably had about 300. And and each year so it's, it's gotten grown. bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, I think if, uh, a couple of years ago, I know it was 2,000. And last year it was more. And this year it's going to be. It's going to be. So expanded, they're going to just burst out of the park. It's going to be wonderful and wonderful. It's going to be wonderful. Get there early, and, and we'll have uh, 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 carolers over there uh -huh. singing. And hot chocolate, and, too. And hot chocolate. And, and you'll be able to enjoy yourself, and the children get an opportunity to, to mingle with uh, some of the, the elves and the snow people and uh, uh, Santa Claus. And, and it's going to be a wonderful time. It's going to be a great time. Well, thank you, Mayor, and uh, we look forward to next week, and people can meet you uh, at the park, either sure. one, Heritage and I, and Park I'll, or Founders Plaza. I will be out and about, so I, I'm looking forward to meeting you and shaking your hand and having a picture taken. Let's all get there together. You go. It's fun. Okay, so we're going to take a quick break and be right back with my second guest, and this is sponsored by Roger Stein Chiropractic Center. has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936 441 9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R O D G E R S S T E I N chiropractic.com. What is homelessness? Have you seen parents struggle to find a job without having transportation or childcare? What about the children sleeping in cars with nothing to eat? Families shouldn't have to struggle to survive, and children should not be homeless. Family Promise of Montgomery County serves the needs of homeless families and their children. Learn about ways you can help and learn about partnership opportunities at www.familypromiseofmc.org or call our day center at 936-441-8778. Don't forget to download the Lone Star Community Radio app from your Google Play or Apple Store. Bring Montgomery County's community radio with you anywhere with your smartphone or tablet. If you are in the Conroe area, tune in on FM. That's Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1. If you are on the computer, bookmark IRLoneStar.com as your internet radio station. A Lone Star Community Radio. Broadcasting 24-7 from the heart of downtown Conroe, Texas. Listen in Mondays at noon to hear Conroe news from local nonprofits, businesses, upcoming events, Conroe Park events, news stories, and information that matters to you with your host, Margie Taylor of Taylorized PR. For more information about being a guest, visit IRLoneStar.com slash Conroe Culture. Lone Star Community Radio, Conroe Culture News, as we are every Monday from noon to one. And my second guest today on this rainy Monday, rainy days and Mondays. I think there's a song about that. So is Carly. And Carly just opened a shop right next door to us today. Right, Carly? Yes. We, our official opening was today. And then 
tomorrow is going to be open to the public. So what what does the shop have inside? Um, so the shop has anything from um, Band-Aids to, well, let's just say first aid things. Um, it has like a general store has. So anything you could think of as in a general store is what we have. So it's unique because you can't just go in. There's not like a drugstore in downtown. No. So your place has incidentals that people may suddenly need all of a sudden, like uh, office products, an apple, a banana, a snack, things like that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We got, we have hummus. We have like things that you wouldn't normally find at any other convenience. So it's not a restaurant, no. but you can go in there and get um, chips and uh, drinks, mm -hmm. bottled drinks. You have a refrigerated area. Mm -hmm. You even have pies in there. Yeah, we just bought um, yesterday Mexican Coke from Fiesta. So we have Mexican Coke, which, of course, as you know, is real sugar. Yes, real sugar. Not that uh, uh, Splenda or... Uh, Nutrisweet, but the real sugarcane sugar. Mm -hmm. So, yes, just talking to the microphone there. Uh, so, you just opened today. It's real cute inside. I like it. it it's it's very uh, cozy feeling, uh, casual, informal atmosphere. You even have flowers. You have bouquets of uh, flowers in there. Yep. And um, I believe I saw some ornaments that say downtown Conroe. Yep. Um, I'm guessing she got that from the website, but I'm not sure either the website or Amazon. She gets a lot of stuff from Amazon. So, so it's Carly's Mercantile. Is that correct? Carly's Mercantile. Carly's we, Mercantile. We have a Facebook. Um, you can look us up on Carly's um, on Main at, or, no, sorry. Uh, you can look us up at Carly's Mercantile. Um, on Facebook? Yes, on Facebook. Okay, so you'll have new fresh products in there all the time. Uh, yes, we will. And then we also have, if you come in there, uh, we have a suggestion book. Um, you can put in whatever you want um, us to sell. So whatever we don't sell that you think we could put in there, <clears throat> we'll, we'll get it in if you put it in the suggestion book. So if people don't know you, what is unique? about you um we are hiring only blind and visually impaired employees um i am blind and so is my manager stacy we we are both running it and as far as we know right now we're not going to be hiring anymore but we are going to be doing internships starting in january we're going to be talking to the school districts trying to see if any of them that are of legal age um, can or wants to work, you know, just have work experience. We're not going to pay them. They're going to be strictly just working with the job coaches. <clears throat> Learning job skills. Yeah. Customer service. Yes. Things like that. So uh, you do not take cash? No. We, we're we only um, credit card and debit card based. Okay. That makes sense. So what else would you like people to know about Carly's Mercantile? Um, that's pretty much it. Um, check us up. Check us out on Facebook and we'll see you guys soon. What what hours are you open, Carly? Oh, we're okay, so we're open from seven to six and then when the theaters are going on, we're gonna be open um through the theater intermission. Okay, so on the days, on the Friday, Saturdays that they're open late, mm -hmm. you'll be open till say, 9-ish, yeah, something nine, like that, because usually they go 8 to 10, something. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, very good. So it's a place for you to stop by, and if you're out around downtown Conroe, you can just get a cool refreshment. Oh, and, and we also have a free library. And a library? Yeah. How does that work? It's for free. Um. I'm not sure yet. I don't know much about <laughs> okay. the library, so I can't really talk about it. I just know it's we coming have one. soon. Coming soon, Where you will we, have a library. Yeah, we have one already, but I don't know much about it. And the bike shop is still inside yes. your mercantile, too. Yes. 
Do they have a separate entrance or just the same one through your place? I, I think it's the same one. Through okay. Your... Okay. Yeah. Just curious how that worked. So yeah. today is the first day of Carly's Mercantile that's yep. open today, and you are going to be open until 6 o'clock mm -hmm. tonight. Mm -hmm. And you will also be giving away, I think, did you say candy canes for Christmas on Main? Something yeah, like doing, that. Um, I am going to be outside doing um, glow sticks. Glow sticks, that's and right. And um, Mom and my other... My manager will be um, there doing the selling and stuff like that. I'm I'm just doing the glow sticks so I can get people into the store. Right. Sounds like a great idea. And that will be at Christmas on Main that starts at 7 p.m. next Tuesday. Yep. Tuesday after Thanksgiving, uh, November 27th, right after the tree lighting. Yep. So come by and see Carly, get your glow stick, or you can come by before that. She has samples of pie out there right now. She's got yeah, pecan pie, got pumpkin pie, pe pecan and pumpkin, right? I think. Yeah, and we have homemade salsa, you guys. You have homemade salsa. You have homemade. You have honey from Whitman's Honey Farm. Yep. Uh, a lot of different things in there. It's done up real cute in there. So that is right next door to Lone Star Community Radio and Conroe Coffee. Yep. So go by and see Carly. Yep. Okay. Thank you. And thank uh, you. We'll have our next guest come up in just a moment. Uh, so we're going to take another quick break. For those of you who like your partners, your gumbo, and your music salty, well, we're here to help with the music. Julian Shea here, host of Lone Star Country Nights Thursday, your weekly dose of roots and Americana and all the music that makes this part of the country special. We stir in western swing, honky-tonk, zydeco, Texas blues, outlaw country, and put a pinch of red dirt, and then we smoke it over a slow fire. Then listen to the results Thursday nights on Conroe's 104.5 and 106.1 and worldwide at IRLoneStar.com. From the beginning, the main purpose of the Cooperative Extension Service has been to change human behavior by teaching people how to apply the results of scientific research. By utilizing a holistic, multi-level approach, Extension Family and Community Health Programs encourage health and well-being for everyone, addressing values, concerns, and needs with reliable science-based information. Extension programs help people lead healthier lives. We are Texas A&M AgriLife Extension, helping Texans make their lives better. Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936 441 9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R O D G E R S S T E I N chiropractic.com. Lone Star Community Radio is looking for those who are interested in hosting their own talk show. With monthly and weekly slots available on Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1, and on IRLoneStar.com. Start your own podcast, create your first YouTube channel, and be on TV. Contact Lone Star Community Radio online at IRLoneStar.com or call the station message line at 936 Six four seven three seven seven six. And we are back. I'm your host, Margie Taylor of Conroe Culture News, FM 104.5, 106.1, Lone Star Community Radio, downtown Conroe. So the third guest today, we have four guests in all. The third guest today is Gerardo Villarreal, and he is with Invincible Fitness, but it's more about his dream and what he's able to accomplish and how he's so motivating. And I'm going to let you tell a little bit about your story. So welcome. And how are you doing today? Oh, thank you so much, Margie. I am doing amazing. It's actually my first time doing something like this. So it's, it's fun. It, it is. It is. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, you know, the way how I started, I was uh, 17 when I started working for 
a gym. I worked for about nine months for free. Can you believe it? For nine months. But yes. um, honestly, it's it was a great experience. I learned a it lot. It was like an internship. It really was. <laughs> it really was, except a long, long internship. Uh, but I got to know the in and outs of the business. And uh, thankfully, the owner took me under his wing, and he showed me the ropes, and he allowed me to open up one of his gyms for him. So was that your intention when you started working for them for free, is that you would learn the business and hopefully open up your own place? It really was. You know, when I first started, I wanted to do a supplement store. You know, and I wanted to do it inside of a gym. But then once I saw the gym and how he, how it worked and, and the members, and I just fell in love with, you know, with the business and all. And so he basically just taught me how to do, you know, how to talk to people, how to sell, how to, uh, re, you know, retention. I mean, so many things that come into, you know, to basically owning a business. He taught me, uh, you know, very, very early on. But I think from my roots, uh, of being an entrepreneur, I honestly get it from my parents. Uh, my parents have been entrepreneurs for the past 15 years. So, um, so what I do get, they do? Uh, they actually do. Uh, so basically what they do is they're actually network marketers. So they just network and they do, uh, they actually work for a, a supplement uh, company as well. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they so do Herbalife. You've uh, always had it in your blood to be an entrepreneur. I think so. You know, I'm the youngest of four sisters. So, and I oh. was, I, yeah, four <laughs> sisters. So I was actually the annoying brother Okay. Um, and my sisters never really wanted to take care of me. So my parents would have to take me with them to their meetings and their conventions and seminars. And to be honest, I hated going. I, I hated it because I was the only kid there. You know, no other parents brought their kids. But thankfully, now looking back into my life, I am so thankful because I think that, you know, when it comes to leadership and when it comes to speaking, when it comes to just, you know, being present with people, I think that's where I, I got it from. It's grown your ability to talk publicly and feel comfortable in different situations and, and deal with people and, and hone on on your people skills. Yes. So you've had this in your blood to be an entrepreneur, and you opened up your own business recently. I did. I did. Um, my, it's, it's, it's actually funny, you know, because the same way how I was with the gym, I wanted to do the whole supplement store all over again. Um, even after I was a manager for for the owner. Tell me about supplement store. What do you mean by that? Uh, basically, I wanted to sell, you know, uh, you know, pre-workouts. I wanted to sell uh, smoothies. I wanted to sell, you know, uh, shakes. I mean, just different, products. Yeah, different types of supplements. And so I decided to open up my own store. Uh, well, actually, I signed my lease. So this was back in August of 2016. But I was fired from my job on September 2016. So about a month after I signed my lease, I was let go from my job. And I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to find another job, uh, especially near that area. So I decided just to go all in, use up all of my savings, max out all my credit cards, and, uh, and opened up my own uh, supplement store with my dad. And how old were you? I was 19 at the time. You were 19. So do you still have the supplement store? No, ma'am. No. So, so the supplement store, it didn't turn out the way how I expected. I didn't want to go out of business. That was my biggest fear going into business was actually getting, you know, uh, pretty much going out of business. And so what I decided to do was go back to the gym, you know, so I started, uh, you know, some of my clients, they, they knew my background and they knew that I was in with the gym. So they asked me to train them and I did. I trained them at, for free. Uh, I, I, just wanted to, I, I just wanted to be busy. That was really it. I wanted to stay busy and they were losing weight and they started asking their friends or well, not asking, telling their friends to, to come see me. And just little by little, more and more people started coming in. And that's when I decided to start selling memberships. Nice. So your shop is in Magnolia. Yes, ma'am. Magnolia. And uh, how Old many? Magnolia. Yes. How many uh, memberships do you have right now? Um, I have shy of two hundred. And you have op- been open for a year. For about a year, yes, ma'am. So that that's pretty good. And you're now twenty three. Uh, no, I'm. I just tw- I just turned twenty two. Twenty two. Oh yes, my ma'am. goodness. So you have your own <laughs> shop at twenty two. Yes. And you're doing this all by yourself. There there isn't anybody else. Working with you on um, it? No, ma'am. No, I'm not going to take all the credit for this. Um, for one, I couldn't have done it without the supports of, of my, my parents to begin with, my sisters. But, but um, most importantly, uh, my girlfriend, Jocelyn. Uh, she's, she's played a huge part in, in the business by growing the business with me. Uh, I mean, she is literally my right hand. She's your support system, too. Yes, she yes, she's my backbone, for sure. So why, why do it in a, a gym type of thing? What, what motivates you to do that? Oh, well, when it comes to a gym, I mean, I just love helping people in general. You know, I've always had that in me since I was a kid. 
I think that with gyms, the reason I love gyms too, besides you know helping people, is because it's it's retention. Um, you know, you you have residual income. Um, you know, you're building. You know, you're building. You know, you know your your uh, your customer base. But on top of that, you're helping more and more people. And so I think with fitness, I think it's almost like water. You know, you 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 have to you have to take it. You know, you have to do it. So with fitness, I really do believe that you know three out of four Americans are overweight. You know, one out of four are obese. So our our, our the, the the way how we how we operate our business is by just simply helping people. And I think that if there's a big problem right now in the U.S. I think that our business is a solution to that problem. So what is different about your venue? Well, Invincible Fitness, it's different in many, many ways. Um, to begin with, you know, for one, we are 24 hours, so we never close. Another Kind of like Snap Fitness. Yes, in a way, just like Snap Fitness or even Anytime Fitness, because um, I know that, that they're 24 hours as well. But with our gym, back when I was, when I was working with the other gyms before, you know, I would sign up many, many members. But the one problem that I found was that after I would sign them up, they would never go. And it, 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 it always left me kind of curious as to why somebody would waste their time and their money on something that they're not even going to use. And so once I asked a couple of members, you know, what it was, and they said, well, I just don't know what to do. I can't afford a trainer. So whenever they go to a gym and they see all these people working out and they feel like... It's overwhelming. It is overwhelming. Because they see all these different pieces of equipment and they're not sure how to use them. Exactly. Sometimes by having too many options, can that always be a good thing and that it could be a bad thing? So... When it comes to Invincible Fitness, we actually provide unlimited personalized training at no cost to the member. The reason why is because we believe that it shouldn't have to cost you a lot of money to seek help or guidance when it comes to your health. And so we provide that in-house. Another thing that we also provide is an infrared sauna. So that way, if members don't have that much time to work out, go in there for about 10, 15 minutes max, and you're sweating, I mean, a lot, that you're burning close to about 300 calories. And even it feels if, good, too. It does feel good. <laughs> it feels amazing. It does. Especially like today. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Especially with this, with this Houston weather. Oh, my goodness. But another thing that we also have is that we have showers. We have a kid's room. We have cardio machines. We have, you know, free weights. Uh, we have everything that you need in order to keep you accountable. You know, but I think the, one of the most important things for us that we do for our members is by doing monthly weigh-ins. So that way we can track their progress for them. So that, they, so that way they can actually see their progress as the months mm-hmm. are going by. So you can get uh, individualized personal trainer attention. Does that mean that you have to book it in advance or is someone always available there? No, ma'am. So, so pretty much it's, it's actually always available there. Uh, it doesn't matter what time. Uh, you don't have to call ahead of time and say, hey, can I use a trainer? All you have to do is just come on in and we're there. Even 24-7? A 24, well, actually, so basically what we do is our trainers are there from 9 to 7 okay. um, every single so day. So in that time and then, period. But after that, we actually have virtual training as well. So that way the, the member doesn't just stay, um, I guess that way they're not just looking for us. If not, they can actually just go whenever they want. And they have access to our trainers, but then they also have access to our virtual training. Tell well. me about the virtual training, how that works. So the virtual training uh, is pretty much... As like you go in, we have a set of flat screens all over the gym. Now, each flat screen is set with a different workout, different amount of sets, different reps. So that way, when you step into the gym, you know exactly what to do. Kind of like a, like a guide. You know, you, you, like you think about your, you know, the first job that you ever got. You know, if you were hired and nobody taught you anything, I mean, you wouldn't know what to do. Same thing goes for a gym. It would be frustrating. Exactly. Right. And people forget about that when it comes to a gym. People forget that, it, that you need... To, you, you need a guide of what to do once you're at the gym. You know, if you have a plan and you follow it, you're going to see success. If you don't have a plan, you're not going to see any And you'll results. stick with it exactly. if you know what the plan is. Yeah. <laughs> right? That is true. That is true. <laughs> but also something unique is it changes up day to day. Yes. It changes. Um, right now, we're up to about 150 workouts. So the chances of you doing the same workout every single day is very, very unlikely. So when you come in, you could be working on legs or arms or chest, Mm -hmm. and it's that way throughout the the different stations that you go to? Correct, correct, yes. And that's on the screen that shows you what equipment you're using and how to use it. Yes, ma'am, of course. Mm -hmm. And then it replays over and over again. Yes. Okay, so (laughs) you could start at one or you could start at four and then go backwards. Right, 
I mean, it doesn't really matter. Right. Right. The customer is complete is in complete control. The control is not in us. We're there to help, but they're in control. Nice. So I my my whole philosophy and my whole plan was to take out any possible excuse out of their pocket. So if somebody were to tell me, well, I only have I don't have time. Well, we're 24 hours. Well, I don't know what to do. Well, we have free personal training. Well, what if I can't stay accountable? We hold you accountable. Do you see what I'm saying? So we do everything that you like, we do everything for you. All you have to do is come to the gym. It show up. It show up. You got to show up. You That's can't it. make them come. That's, yeah, no. <laughs> no. Okay. So you're also possibly working with, there's an elementary school across the street from you. Yes. Is that uh, Williams Elementary? That is Williams, yes, ma'am. So what's going on with them? Well, with Williams Elementary, um, as of right now, what I'm planning to do is, is um, I wanted to do it like kind of like a donation for the school. Um, unfortunately, like there is some kids, you know, who as of right now, you know, don't know if they're going to get a Christmas gift this Christmas, you know, just how we're in November. And so what we're planning to do at Invincible Fitness is a, par- a, a portion of everything that comes in is going to go directly to gifts to give to the kids. So any new memberships that come Correct. forward. And you are located on FM 1488. Yes, ma'am. In Magnolia. Yes. Same shopping center as Napa Auto Parts. Napa Auto Parts. There you go. <laughs> so your Facebook page is Invincible Fit. Uh, Invincible Fitness. Invincible Fitness Official. Official. That's right. And your uh, website is Invincible. Yeah, InvincibleFit.com. InvincibleFit.com. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Yes. And we're also, so, um, and, and we're also uh, uh, in the verge of franchising as well for the gym. Yes, tell me about that. Um, well, actually, like, so I had the option either to duplicate the gyms on my own, like when it comes to, you know, me getting the lease and getting the equipment. But then I thought, I thought, I think it'd be a, a much faster, but even a better way to give other people the opportunity to be able to, you know, to basically lock arms with me in this vision that I have by taking invincible fitness throughout the world. And the only way we do that is by going town by town, city by city, state by state, and then nation by nation. So what's your next plan? So as of right now, we're currently about to franchise starting in mid-December. So we're very, very excited about that. Who's we? Uh, the company. Um, okay, I, I, I your company. Yes, I don't see myself as just one. I see, okay. I see me as, as, as Partners. a company. Yes. Okay. And so... And so um, since we're about to franchise coming in January, I mean, I'm sorry, in December, um, our goal is to hit between five to 10 franchises sold in 2019. Amazing. Yes, that is our goal. Okay, so you have a game plan. Yes. You yes. have it all written out, your strategy. Oh, absolutely. You know, um, you know, the first thing, you know, whenever they asked me the, the first question and they said, like, what is that you want to do? And I looked at them and I said, honestly, I want to redefine a happier healthier, and active lifestyle across the world by providing people with personalized fitness, unlimited access, you know, monthly weigh-ins. And so I think it kind of goes hand in hand with what we do at Invincible Fitness. And so, I mean, I, I love what I do. I, I can sincerely say I can that, see that. That I love it. You're like, very excited. You're motivated. And you're only 22. I'm only 22. Can you believe uh, it? <laughs> no, no. And I think that's the best part. Is I feel like you... I have an old soul in me. You know, I, I feel like, you know, I, I, I'm, <laughs> my body's 22. Like physically, I'm 22. But my mind, it's, 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 it's not 22. It's so much further than that. You're an old soul. I am an old soul. Okay, I, so I you are going to make a difference. So what about Conroe? Are you going to open up one in Conroe? Oh, definitely. Definitely. I love Conroe. Um, so, yes, the plan is to, to, to definitely expand um, here in the Houston area first. So that way I can just kind of keep a close eye on, on every uh, location. Sure. Um, so we'll have some in Conroe. We'll have some in Tomball. I want to open some in Houston and Porter and Katy, Sugar Land. I mean, everywhere. Okay. Yeah. You I want to spread it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's important. Yes. Okay, so somebody, anybody who wants to come by and visit with you can go uh, just drop in. What is the physical address on? Um, it is 18252 FM 1488, Magnolia, Texas, and the zip code is 77354. Invincible Fitness. Invincible Fitness, yes. It's in red, it's in red and white. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, well, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you coming on and sharing your motivation. <laughs> you know, on this gloomy day, you've dropped a ray of sunshine out there for all of us. Oh, thank you. And hope. So uh, we're going to take another break and be back with our last guest, Rita Wiltz.
We're with the Ticket Stub Podcast every Thursday live at noon on 104.5 and 106.1 FM in the Conroe area. Also, anytime at IRLoneStar.com. You go to IRLoneStar.com backslash TTS. You can find all of our social media. And don't forget, we give away two tickets to the Grand Theater on every show. If you like movies and you like complaining or celebrating anything that has to do with the silver screen, check out the Ticket Stub Podcast and join us every Thursday at noon o'clock on Lone Star Community Radio. Want to check out the fastest growing sport in the world? It's right here in Conroe, Texas, and it's Roller Derby. Conroe Roller Derby is a nonprofit recreational league of women and men who want you to come and check out the fast paced, hard hitting game of roller derby. The Conroe Cutthroats practice at Rainbow Roller Rink on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. You can find our game schedule and more information on our website, www.conroerollerderby.com. Since 2004, Roger Stein Chiropractic has offered spine and joint manipulation services to residents of Montgomery County and surrounding areas. Conditions treated include lower back pain, migraines, headaches, whiplash, carpal tunnel, neck pain, sciatica, joint pain, sports injuries, herniated discs, and complications from pregnancy. Roger Stein Chiropractic, led by Dr. Stacy Rogers and Dr. Brian McGee, is an integrity-verified chiropractic clinic. Call 936-441-9990 for an appointment or visit rogerssteinchiropractic.com. That's R-O-D-G-E-R-S-S-T-E-I-N, chiropractic.com. Lone Star Community Radio is looking for those who are interested in hosting their own talk show. With monthly and weekly slots available on Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1, and on IRLoneStar.com. Start your own podcast, create your first YouTube channel, and be on TV. Contact Lone Star Community Radio online at IRLoneStar.com or call the station message line at 936 936- Six four seven three seven seven six. And we are back. I'm Margie Taylor, your host for Conroe Culture News on Star Community Radio, FM 104.5, 106.1 out of downtown Conroe. On this beautiful, not so beautiful, but it's Thanksgiving week, and there's a lot of things that I know I'm thankful for, and one of them is my good friend Rita Wiltz, who's sitting here with me, Children's Books on Wheels, and I've known Rita for many years, <laughs> many years, probably 13 years or somewhere yes. like that when yeah. we started doing some things together with the Homeless Coalition. Of course, Rita's still plugging away and uh, helping people with so many different things, uh, financial literacy, uh, health literacy, and literacy books and things like that, right? Exactly, exactly. I'm so happy to be here today. Thank you, Margie. So, of course, as always, you have a lot of things going on. Uh, and it's open enrollment season. Tell me about that. What does that mean? So open enrollment is families that want to sign up for the healthcare marketplace. Uh, Children Books on Wheels provide that services in English. We work with a promotorist and a community health worker and healthcare marketplace navigators to provide those services for families that want to enroll in the marketplace. And at the same time, there are a lot of families that cannot afford to enroll in the marketplace. It is a law that they do have to have health insurance. So we can also do the exemptions. We can do the hardship cases for them. And then we can also enroll families in CHIP, Medicaid, food stamps, and CANF. And our services are mobile. So we're all over the county, uh, to provide those services uh, for our families. It is much needed service. Uh, we know that families need access to that. So that's just wonderful. One of, one of the wonderful things that we do is making sure that families have access to health care. So you have an event tomorrow, uh, and that's to sign up families or individuals for their uh, health care. And again, uh, that ends December 15th, right? That window of opportunity to enroll or continue your services with the uh, healthcare.gov. So tomorrow, well, you're doing it today too, right? No, not tomorrow. today. Tomorrow, tomorrow, yes. correct. Uh-huh. So nine to four tomorrow? Nine to four tomorrow at the Sleepy Hollow Multipurpose Center. Uh, the Sleepy Hollow Multipurpose is for uh, Children Books on Wheels, our place to land. 
Uh, it is located on Sleepy Hollow. It's located in the Tamna community, and we'll be there enrolling people uh, for services, providing application assistance. We also do resource and referral services if we can't help them then we'll guide them to another organization. Uh, Children Books on Wheels is all over the county, north, south, east, west, and central. You definitely are. <laughs> but you, it also has flu shots. Tell me about flu shots. So St. Christmas is coming in. Uh, I call it the flu shot with the blessing uh, because the nun, uh, and the nurses are providing the services. And it is tomorrow. It's from noon until, uh, excuse me, it's from 10 a.m. until noon. So from 10 a.m. until noon, uh, you can come by Sleepy Hollow to get uh, immunization for children. And we recommend that you bring your shot record. Uh, we also uh, will be provide, providing flu shots. So I'll be getting my flu shot tomorrow. It's where I get my annual shot. And um, those services will be there. There's a service there that if you qualify for state services, you can get a free cell phone, uh, which is unlimited minutes. And uh, it's a very nice phone. I did see that. So we'll be there tomorrow providing those services. Services are in English. They're also in Spanish. And the one thing I love about the volunteers and the staff and the contracts for Children's Books on Wheels, we know that we live in a very diverse county. So we look like our county. How can you service someone when you can't communicate? So we're very happy about that. And shots tomorrow. Are the shots free? The shots are free at no cost, available you know, I was just talking to uh, Cindy Alvarado with the Chamber, and one of the things we were talking about with her and Paula was sitting there and Michelle from Texas AgriLife, we were trying to find out how many different ways you can say free and at no cost because people tend to think that there's an added something until they get to know children's books on wheels. Then they realize, oh, yeah, Miss Rita does mean free. With her, free is free. That's right. So uh, we were talking about some of those things that, what we can do to let families know it's available and no cost, it's free, and come on out and have access to getting the shots. And a lot of people don't have insurance and they want to get a shot. So uh, we provide those services. We're just happy that we can do that and we can provide those services for free. We'll also have free books. Everywhere we go, there are free books. So we will have free books there. Uh, so that's what we do. And yeah, we all love your what services we do. are free, aren't they? All of our services are free at no cost. So you also have an after-school program there. So the after-school program are for the children that uh, attend school. Uh, a lot of the kids that are there are from the Oak Ridge feeder zone. Uh, there is communication between CISD and the YMCA. So there is a designated bus that the kids can get on at the different campuses to come in. So it's Monday through Friday from 3 o'clock until 6 o'clock. It's facilitated by the YMCA. And it's the after-school project, and it's a wonderful place for the kids to be. You know, and we were talking about transportation earlier. There is no transportation really in Montgomery County. So a lot of the kids get off the bus there, and um, they have access to uh, tutoring for after-school. It is the YMCA, so it is a structured environment uh, based on uh, uh, evidence-based curriculum. Uh, we provide free snacks, nutritious snacks. Now, every now and then, Miss Rita's going to do some bluebell ice cream and chocolate syrup, but that's beside <laughs> the point. Uh, we have Gotta a, have a treat. Gotta have a treat. And we have a garden there uh, because the kids from the after school program know that Miss Rita says that potato chips aren't vegetables. So we do provide those services. And, and again, all of that is at, at no cost. Uh, my mom passed last year, and one of the things that mom loved was a garden. So we had a dedication, and we named it Dallas Community Garden. So we're excited nice. about that. And we have an upcoming event also, Margie. Yes, and I was about to ask you about that. So tell me about it. So it's Jingle All the Way to Literacy. God-given idea. Jingle All the Way to Literacy is to promote uh, the theater and the arts and introducing the children with the after-school program to the theater and the arts, and being on stage, public speaking, dancing, uh, plays, those type things. And so it's December the 8th. Our honorary chair is Maria Banos Jordan, and we're really happy about that. She does quite a few things in the community uh, out in East County. She's like me, north, south, east, and west. Yes, she is. And um, she's our honorary chair, and we're happy about that honor. So the funds from this particular event, it is a live band, because you know I love a live band. DJs oh, yes. are great, but I love a live band. This is R&B. And you like dancing. I love dancing, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and um, it's R&B. We got Teddy Gibson. We got Cliff Duncan coming in. We got Ray Parsi and the All-Stars. 
They're we got fabulous. Miss, they're great. We got Miss Yvette and the Busby. She's coming in. So it's really a good event. Wear your dancing shoes. It's December the 8th. Uh, it's from 8 until midnight. Come out, support Children Books on Wheels. It's a party for a good cause. And please wear your dancing shoes. You know, it's, it's dancing shoes. Because you like to have fun. I like to have fun. You know, you do things with children all year, but then there comes a point where you want to have a little adult fun. So this is an adult event. Don't bring the children, you know. It's, it's an adult event. But uh, the tickets, the proceeds will provide services for the theater and the arts for the children that are there after school. And when you want to donate and do your best, uh, donate to literacy projects. We have financial literacy with the free tax project. We have the health literacy providing access to health care, the free shots and things that we do, the services we buy with the we provide with the Lone Star Family Health Center. Uh, we do things with Interfaith. So we volunteer with every, we volunteer with the library. And people say, aren't you in competition with the library? I said, no, we're promoting reading. We're promoting literacy. literacy that's we want right. the kids to have a library card. So it's just, uh, uh, it's just a win, win, win with Children Books on Wheels. And I'm just going to take time out of this to say, Marjorie, we appreciate what you do. Uh, you're just, you have a good heart, you know, and we appreciate that. We appreciate you getting the word out about Children Books on Wheels. And we thank you for all you've done for all these years in Montgomery County. Just can't thank you enough. Well, thank you. Thank you. And I do see you everywhere. I mean, you are a member of all the chambers, I believe. Yes, the Hispanic Chamber, the Woodlands Chamber. Conroe. And the Conroe Chamber. Magnolia? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Well, that's another opportunity then. You'll have to accompany me to go to Magnolia I sometime. love to. This I love to. This other guy was from Magnolia. Oh, he was? Yes. Because yes. we're out in East County at the SOS, so that would be great. Uh, West County. West County. You said oh. East County, but that's okay. Yeah, Over he's there. West County. East County sure. is uh, the uh, mission. We Shirley provide... Grimes. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. It would be great for you to go out there. I know you do things with Crisis Assistance Center as well. Yes. I just left there, so, yeah. Yeah, I haven't had time to go by there. <laughs> I know, I know. But your name came up in a good way, you know, and it's good to be that person that when someone mentions their name, they say good things about them, so... Well, we are getting told that that's all we have time for today. So uh, let's direct people to your Facebook page right now. Okay. Which is uh, CBOW, mm -hmm. which is Children's Books on Children's Wheels. Books on Wheels. Yes. CBOW dot Children's Books on Wheels to find out about your upcoming events. And the shots tomorrow. And the Children's shots Books on tomorrow. Wheels. Yes. Well, thank you, Rita. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. <laughs>